Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. This is going to be another update for my 365 days of samples. I didn't do very well this week. I've definitely been lacking a little bit of motivation. I felt a little burnt out. I don't know. There's just been something over the last couple of days where I've just been in like a Debbie Downer kind of mood. So anyway, um, I did finish a couple of products. There's a couple things that I did like and a couple things that I did not like and a whole bunch of stuff that I have not yet finished, um, which is why I think when I go to pick items, I'm going to try and pick foil items instead of the, the bigger deluxe size things because I have a couple of them right now and it's I don't want to have too many more right now going on because it's too overwhelming. So anyway, um, let's dive in. I will talk about the two items that I would pass on that I did not like. The first item is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. This was not my cup of tea. I didn't think that it did much for me at all. I used it as both a mask and like an overnight treatment on my skin. Neither one did anything. The smell is very... It's coconut, I think. Like that's... What it smells like to me is coconut. It smells very summery and maybe that's part of the reason why I didn't like it so much. I'd used it a few times before I had drawn it to use in this challenge but yeah I just I was not crazy about this. It's disappointing because the other Glam Glow item I used was really spectacular so maybe I had too high expectations for this, but I really noticed no difference in my skin at all after using this. And I used up this red Catalia Olympic Orchids perfume. It was only about half full. I didn't completely finish it. It was okay. I didn't hate it enough to stop using it, but it definitely was not my favorite thing. I'm very particular with perfumes. I found one that is my signature scent that is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. That one, like every time I wear it, people are always going, oh my God, you smell so good. So I'm gonna stick with that one. This one, not too happy about, um, but at least I'm getting through my perfume samples. Then I had two possible purchases. Um, this is the one from Dior, and this is the One Essential City Defense. It actually has SPF 50 in it. So it's supposed to help protect your skin, obviously, against sun damage, but also against um, pollution. Like it says on the card that it's supposed to prevent the daily accumulation of toxins in the skin. So, protected throughout the day, the skin regains its orig original radiance and vitality. So, I really liked this stuff. I was nervous to use it because sometimes sunscreen products have like a really strange smell. Sometimes they're really thick on your skin, like greasy. This was lightweight. It's had a really pleasant smell. It absorbed really quickly and easily. And my skin did look really good after using it. And I noticed at the end of the day too that my skin still looked pretty good. So I was crediting this. I got about four uses out of this foil packet. So that was pretty good. It gave me a good indication um, uh, that it was working for me when I used it four days straight. And then the last item is Sephora brand. It is their instant moisturizer. I'd actually had the full size of this before, but I can tell they made some changes to it. Even just the way that the packaging is on the outside is different than the one that I had a few years ago. And I I really liked this. It wasn't one of the best moisturizers I've used. I definitely have like a hierarchy going of like my moisturizer preferences, but I liked it because it wasn't super heavy. I feel like this would be a good moisturizer for me in the summertime because right now I'm looking for things that provide a little bit more moisture and hydration, but in the summertime I don't need as much. So something like this I think would work pretty well because um, it left my skin feeling soft and I felt like it, it pr improved the appearance of it, but it wasn't super hydrating. So it didn't help with some of the dryness like around my nose, which is where I need to use a thicker product or something a little bit more substantial, but I did like it. So this is going on the possible purchase list. I'm still working on my fresh lip balms. These take a little while to go through and I honestly haven't been using them as much as I probably should be. I didn't even get a chance to get to my first aid ultra repair cream. They just, the time just disappeared on me and with using the Sephora moisturizer, I didn't even think about this one to be completely honest. I made a tiny bit of progress with my OPI Avo juice, tiny bit. Still working on these three. It's an oil, a clean cleanser and the biotherm serum. Working on all three of them, like them so far I will say, but I still have quite a ways to go. The Sephora blush card, making some progress, and then the little sample from The Balm, um, this little eyeshadow. Honestly, I didn't reach for this at all. With all of the eyeshadow projects I have going on, 
I feel like it's too much to try and concentrate on another eyeshadow as well. So I'm going to put this one back into my collection and I'm going to choose eight foil packs this week or small samples anyway. I'm not going to be reaching into the bottom of the box to try and pick out deluxe samples this week where I've got all those other things still to work on. Um, I want to keep up with this project so I want to not be so overwhelmed and I want to feel like I can even accomplish more over this next week. Okay, so here's the box once again, and now I am going to dive in here and choose items that are mostly off the top. I'm mostly looking for cards and little packets of stuff, as opposed to, like I said, the, the smaller things. So I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I've got, oh wait, I said I was going to pick eight, didn't I? Okay, I've got to pick another one. Okay, finally, I've gotten all of my products. I told you I was a little off today. Um, so the first thing I have here is from Algenist. This is their Ultimate Anti-Aging Eye Cream. So it's in this card, and it's a foil. Very nice. I like that. And I like eye cream samples, so this is perfect. I have another Atelier Cologne perfume. This is Orange Sanguine. I'm not going to take it out of its package just yet, but we'll see how how this goes. I have a little sample from Julep. It's their the best petty cream ever, so it looks like that. I have a little card sample of a lipstick from Butter London in the shade Ruby Murray. So it's a matte lipstick, so it's in this little this thing here. I have a fresh rose face mask, which I know I love. I've used the rose face mask a few times and it was worked really well for me. I have a Sephora fiber mask, sheet mask. This is the pearl mask. So this will be fun to use. I don't think I've ever used a sheet mask, so I'm really excited to see how this goes. I drew out the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and I saw that I had another one, so I just picked the two out to, so I can use the two of them. I'm pretty sure I have this little primer already, and I think I've used this one before. I know I like Smashbox uh, primer sometimes when paired with the right foundation, so this shouldn't be too bad to use up either. And then the last product I just drawn was from the Sephora brand, it's an Express Eye Makeup Remover Wipe. So I think I might actually try this out tonight to take off my eye makeup. So there you have it. There is my update for my 365 days of samples. Sorry that my energy is a little down today. Like I said, I've just been kind of doubting myself a bit. I don't really want to get into like a whole rambly thing because it's just, I don't think it's really that important. I think it's just me being a little bit crazy. I was just reading too much into other people's videos and like comments that people were making and I was taking things way too personally. So anyway, I'm not going to dwell on that. Maybe I'll talk about it if I do a get ready with me um, one of these days, which I'm hoping to do. I've got a few things that I want to film, a few things I want to share with you guys. Time has not been on my side these days though, so unfortunately I have been able to do all that I want to do. But rest assured I'll be coming at you pretty soon with some updates for my projects. I've got a Pan That Palette with a Vice LTD update coming up soon and a Project Pan Roulette update coming up soon as well. So I'm really excited to share my progress with you guys. I hope you guys will forgive my lack of enthusiasm today. I'm really sorry about that. Um, thank you guys so much for understanding, for watching, and for supporting me. Um, I appreciate it so much, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.